Hey guys, it's Jason Hennessy. Today I want to talk a little bit about communication and the uh, psychological safety of communication, right? So how I break down communication is kind of like four quadrants, if you will, right? So the left side is the trust and then the right side is the depth of the conversation, right? So in the bottom left-hand corner of the first quadrant, right? That's kind of like the apathy zone, right? That's really like small talk. So like when you engage in conversation with somebody, you're like, oh, how about the Mets? Or how about that weather, right? You know, A, there's not a lot of trust built um, and um, and there's whole not a whole lot of depth to those conversations, right? We call that small talk. And anyway, so that's just part of conversation, right? Now, as you go up to the top left, right, that's kind of the, the, the comfort zone, right? That means like you really trust somebody, right? But there's still not a lot of depth. You know, conversations like that could be um, talking about, um, you know, maybe uh, your, your dog and, you know, and your dog's been sick and maybe trying to get um, some tips on how to, you know, how to maybe help your dog kind of deal with the sickness, right? Just because you kind of trust that person and, um, you know, and you're just kind of, you know, relying on them for maybe some information, right? <clears throat> um, then you get to the bottom right, right? And that's where, you know, you start to get into a lot of depth, but there's not a lot of trust, right? So if you enter like a group, um, you know, I'm thinking like Alcoholics Anonymous, right? That's a place where you're sitting in front of a bunch of strangers, and, you know, you're having to talk about, um, you know, something that you're dealing with, whether it's drugs or alcohol, right? And that is basically called the anxiety zone, right? Because um, you're not very comfortable, you know, but you're kind of forced to kind of have these very tough conversations. Um, and so that is the bottom right-hand corner, the anxiety zone. And then we have the top right-hand corner, right? And so that's, called the learning zone. And, you know, hopefully we can kind of get most of our conversations to kind of go to that learning zone, you know, where there's a lot of trust and you get into a lot of depth, right? And, you know, how do you do that? By having, you know, conversations and double clicking and kind of going deeper and trying to understand the meaning behind things and people, um, you know, maybe talking uh, to somebody about, um, you know, somebody that they love that they recently lost. You might be afraid to have those conversations, right? But sometimes maybe just kind of having those conversations is is helpful to the person that's kind of like dealing, um, you know, with, with that issue, right? So, um, so again, those are the four quadrants when you look at communication, right? You got the apathy zone, which is small talk, the comfort zone, right? Then you've got the anxiety zone. And then finally, in the top right-hand corner, if we can kind of try to get our conversations to go there, it's an amazing thing. And that's called the learning zone.